Well, happy July. Happy July. Yeah. You know, it is my son's 30th birthday today. It so is. I have to say shout out to Hi Scott. Happy Hi Scott. birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> he's, he's working actually in the is happiest place on earth. Yeah, yes. he works at Disney World. Oh, so, yeah. And you love Disney World. I love World. Disney World. Yes, yes. One of my favorite pictures of him is when he got his mouse ears. Oh, so that that's, so that's fun. awesome. Yeah. How old was he? He was two. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Scott. It was like he was 22. <laughs> Funny, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh wait we digress we did yeah, yeah but you know what else is good for summers what weddings oh weddings yes so a lot of getting ready for weddings. them yes and lots of invitations in the mail bridal showers yes yeah, save the date yeah all that kind of stuff all that so fun stuff. yes yeah when did you get married um august 9th 1980 so oh, 1980 wow. august 9th no rain oh it was hot oh. it was in the 90s <laughs> Yes. And humid? Humid. <laughs> it was humid because it happened to shower that morning. It hadn't rained for like three months and it showered that morning. So mm -hmm. it made it very humid that day in yes. the 90s. Unair conditioned Catholic church. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Layer it on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was a full Catholic mass. So, of course, that was an hour. Oh, yes. Yeah. In, yes. Long, in 1980, you no, air conditioning? no air conditioning. Oh, no. my goodness. Yeah. And I'm sure people couldn't hear anything because we had these huge fans oh, in the right? front and the Blowing? back. Yeah. So everybody kind of sat there and looked at us for an hour. Probably didn't even hear a thing. He said, oh, she looks so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> in my long sleeve, high color. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Dress in the big 80s hair. I was going to say, and then you got the humidity with the big hair. Yeah, so, I know. Yeah, yeah that's hairspray. So, I'd like to see pictures, Kayla. Okay, well, someday we'll do that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so how about you? It was it a little cooler when you got married? Um, yeah, it was in September, and oh. I got married in Minnesota, so okay, it wasn't it wasn't so bad. It was a little buggy up there in Minnesota in September. I or think not? so. Uh -huh. Well, I don't know. It might have been past that season. Okay, probably. So, yeah, very yeah. nice. Yeah, so fun. So we're actually going to talk about all of you all who yes. are thinking about getting married yep. and buying a house because right. that's probably one of the biggest things we get is everybody's oh my gosh. getting married. Some people layer it on. They graduate, mm -hmm. they get married and they buy a house all at once or they're having a baby, buying a house and getting married. There's a whole bunch of things. Yes. So yeah. And puppy. So you know, right. we're, we're getting a puppy. So we have to have a fence with the house we buy. So yes. there's all kinds of things happening here at once. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. So when you're thinking about buying a house, you yes. just graduated from college, You've got a wedding planned for September. We want to buy our first house because our lease is up August 31st yes. or July 31st. <laughs> yes. And um, so what do we do when we're, we're applying for our loan? Yeah. Okay. But we're not married yet, but yeah. we're getting married. Yep. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. How does this all happen? Yeah. So um, what I would say that one of the biggest things in the process through any process, but especially during this is communication. Okay. So, um, we love it when you tell us if you're thinking about getting married, because it actually could be that person who's gra just graduated mm -hmm. or, right. um, you know, technically I had um, adults who were here and, it's, you know, maybe their first marriage, maybe their second or third, who knows. And, you know, you can fly off to Vegas and right. just get married, right? Yeah. During the process. And it's really good if you tell your loan officer. Um, <laughs> yes. If you're thinking about, even if you're thinking about getting right, married. Right. Um, so you might want to send a save the date to your loan officer. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yes. I would love that. Yes. You're going to have fun yeah. anyway. Yeah. So. In terms of, you're getting married, so you want to check with your, your wedding consultant, your minister, and your loan and officer. And your loan officer. Yes. You need to put them on your list. Put yeah. them on your list, yes. <laughs> so yeah, so if you are not married, you can start the process. Mm -hmm. um, everything is kind of the same, except when the date is that you're planning on getting married. Okay. So if we're, you're buying your house and if you're, you know, um, if your wedding date, so say we're closing in August and you're, mm -hmm. you're choosing to get married in July, okay. which is great. Um, you want to make sure we try to have, it's a good for us too, because obviously you want, you have a lot of things you're planning mm -hmm. for and there's a lot of paperwork and a mortgage. There's a lot of paperwork and things you have to do to plan your wedding. Right. That's right. Um, and so if we can get all those things done mm -hmm. for you, that helps you out. And, um, then we can tell you you're getting married. We need a copy of your marriage certificate. Right. Um, because then that depends on if your name is changing when mm -hmm. you get married or if it's not changing, but if it is changing, when we close your loan, we will need to submit your marriage certificate and then make sure your mortgage documents reflect, reflect both your, names, both names correctly okay. 
on your okay. mortgage documents, which then your deed, your mortgage, everything has to match. Okay. So it's really important to know that information. Okay. So what if we're getting married and um, I have a lot of student loan debt, but he does not. Oh, yeah. So, and the mortgage is in his name. Oh, right. Yes. So yeah. if we're buying that you way, you do don't that? qualify. Yeah. So if, so if we but have... you're getting, still getting married, but the loan can be in his name. Yes. Okay. Until I get my, all my student loan debt taken care yeah. of. So you yeah. actually have two different options, which kind of brings us to two when you get married. So if you were to decide that the loan looks better because of debt to income ratios or because mm -hmm. of credit. And so you're just doing the loan in one person's name. Um, both of you can still be on title. Okay. That's good to know. Um, and the other thing is, which we'll talk about how you take title in a little bit, but the other thing is, is if you're getting married um, after you close on the loan. Okay. Um, so this would, I'm trying to think about the best way to say it. So if you close it and just his, his or her name, so maybe Correct. it's her that has the better one. Um, you can add the other person. You can either just close and put title in one person's name and add them later, or you both can choose to be on title. Okay. So just because one person is on the loan, it does not mean that both of you still can't be on title of a property. Right. That's and good to know. Ownership. Yeah, that's good to know because even though, yeah, that loan is in one name, both of you are on the title of that house. Because we do have some people that maybe, maybe it is better for just this, you know, one of the parties to be on the loan, mm -hmm. but maybe it's the other party who has the down payment. Okay. And so you're technically maybe gifting it to your other, you know, you're living with them, but you're gifting it to them. Right. But, but you're like, I still want ownership of this house. Sure. And so you, you both can be on title of the loan. Okay. All right. Good. If you close, so here's, so if you close afterwards and say that um, one person is on the loan, but you get married mm -hmm. afterwards. Right. Um, then, or people sometimes own a house even, and then they get married. Oh, um, that's right? a good one. Yes. So you can always change title of your house and mm -hmm. it's so easy. It is and, easy. And I think inexpensive. It's very inexpensive. Yes. And it's a huge part of your estate right. planning. It is. Is having your title of your house done right. correctly. And I think so, it's called a quit claim quit deed. Quit claim deed. Yep. Like, I don't know, between 50 and a hundred dollars yep. total about, exactly. and it takes care of a lot of, a lot things. of anxiety. It does. Yep. Yes. Because you never want to have to use that in your estate planning right but if you it can be an issue it can be an issue mm -hmm. and it can cost you a lot of money if you did not do it right. correctly or put your now spouse on to that deed with you right um it can cause a lot of headaches and a lot of attorney expenses immediately it, immediately <laughs> yes especially at a very stressful time in your yes. life yes right so different ways to take title, joint tenants and tenants in common. Yes. So most married couples own their property in joint tenancy and which is the best way to do it. So there's a right of survivorship. So in my case, I'm a widow. When my husband passed, our home was titled in joint tenancy. There wasn't any issue with estate or probate or anything mm -hmm. that title went directly to me. Right. Now, tenants in common is if you have maybe unmarried people or brother and sister or, or parents investors, and child or investors. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So you have multiple percentages of ownership um, mm -hmm. of the home. So you may, somebody may have 40%, somebody may have 30, some another person may have 30. Mm -hmm. that, that's to 100, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So when one person passes, then that 30 or 40%, whatever it is, goes to their heir, right? essentially, where in joint tenancy, it goes from one party to the other. And it's a very smooth transition um, when there's a, you know, a death in the, in the relationship. Right. And you don't, you don't even have to be married to take a joint tenancy. No, that's exactly right. You don't yeah. have to be married to do that. So right. if you're engaged and, bought, and mm -hmm. have purchased before the marriage, you, you can know, have joint tenancy. You can have joint tenancy. And that's something right. obviously you should discuss among all those other things, like what kind of flowers we're going to have. Exactly. Joint yes. tenants. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Have half or yeah. <laughs> exactly. Are but those are very important <laughs> questions to have if you are buying a property really and all is. this other thing going on. So, yeah. Right, right. Because there's going to be a lot of surprises if, you know, you're, right. that's, you're not prepared. Right. You just want to be prepared. And so, mm -hmm. you know, Kayla and I said, we're not scientists from the last video. We're not geologists. We're also not attorneys. Yes. Exactly. So, um, so it's just something to definitely discuss. Mm -hmm. And when you're buying a house, obviously that's a big transaction. It is. And so big. you really want to start thinking about what the future mm -hmm. and what that looks like in estate planning and will planning mm -hmm. and yep. different items like that kind of come into play as exactly. well. Exactly. As so as soon, this. right. And as, as soon as you get married, you really should have a will. It doesn't have to be a real long will. It just has right. to state basically how property and 
and other things other things are taken care of mm -hmm. um but um something to very important to consider but especially if you're buying make sure you have whether it, you want to be joint tenants or tenants yes. in common yep. um, that's a very important decision one, to make and it's an easy decision to make and if you want to change that it's very easy to do right. after the fact too so yeah yeah and so i would say if you are listening to this or watching this mm -hmm. and maybe you own a house and maybe your marital status has changed yes. since you've done that you should definitely look into that. We yeah. actually have a few people that are clients of mine that we've just done some quick claim deeds for mm -hmm. because they've gotten married since they had a house. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, super easy. My notaries, right? Stamp it and go to file it. Yep, absolutely. And so, for fifty to hundred dollars, it's it's yeah. so peace of mind. Absolutely, peace of mind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. if you're planning on getting married, yes, or you just got married, congratulations! Congratulations! Yes. <laughs> <Woo -hoo>. <laughs> <laughs> And call us when you're ready to buy a house. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, and put us on your save the date. <laughs> exactly. Save me a piece of cake. Yes. <laughs> bring it bring it to the closing. There you go. That'd be a good <laughs> that'd idea. Be yeah, yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. yeah that would be fun. I have cake at closing. So. Yeah, cake at closing. Yeah, yeah, good. All right. Well, thanks right. for listening today. We appreciate yeah. it very much. And um, have a great rest of the day. Have a great rest of the day.